they'll sit here and they'll act, oh yeah i'll be doing this i'll be gang banging blah 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 and they don't be doing that and it's like you don't have to be that way and in my opinion it's very disrespectful because there's people out there who are genuinely that way not because they want to but because they have to be so there's a big difference there's a big difference one's doing it because they think it's cool the other one's doing it because they're trying to live that's two different things so the one that's trying to live will put you in the ground if they have to because they're trying to survive this has nothing to do with <laughs> like trying to look cool or have a certain status back with another video and basically we got tommy g today i'm not streaming i'm not streaming you know i'm trying to give it i'm trying to do a, a blend a mix some stream clips and then some just regular youtube videos stream is cool but i really love youtube more like youtube my passion we're gonna get straight into the video you know we're not gonna waste time i just made you watch that intro just now what what we gotta waste time for we're gonna get straight into it let's go all right so this video is titled inside the theft capital of, Amer of america by tommy g he posted this an hour ago so i'm on it you know i'm on it i'm trying trying to be quick with it you know all right damn across the country people are talking about crime in the bay hold on my nigga hold on hold on hold on a stoli so you just admitted that your friend stole sixteen thousand. Go back. Nigga, we starting from the beginning. That's a rollie. And, and you dumb as shit with no mask on. <laughs> are talking about crime in the Bay Area, specifically San Francisco. We're in San Francisco, theft capital of the world. It's getting crazy out here. Damn. That nigga selling shoes on the side. Call me the high speed specialist. <laughs> I'm getting away from choppers. I swear to God, you really look like a cop right now. I'm not here lying, I swear to God. Overall theft in America seems to be dramatically on the rise, and no city better exemplifies this than San Francisco. San Fran? San Francisco is on the rampant rise of theft for real? I thought it was DC, I'm not even gonna hold you. Again, four women run off after stealing from the CVS pharmacy. Two million dollars worth of goods suspected to be stolen out of San Francisco. Every day in Bay Area news, you can read Niggas getting cooked in San Francisco. <laughs> they up there getting cooked. They over there getting cooked. Robberies and more. No, but seriously, that's actually crazy. But like, they genuinely getting cooked. But the crime here is so wild that newspapers and locals have started referring to this place as Gotham City. Part of why. What? Dog, I don't mean to pause this much, but seriously, you know how crazy Gotham City is, and they're referring to San Fran as Gotham. Gotham. So you telling me they need Batman? They need, they need me. You said I'm not Batman. All right, bro. Damn. My fault. Proposition 47. Essentially, what Prop 47 does is make any theft under $950 a misdemeanor where the person stealing faces little to no consequences. Under current state law, shoplifting merchandise value under $950 is considered a misdemeanor. In turn, this has led people to make careers as professional thieves. In the Bay Area, these people are referred to bippers, boosters, and fences. Boosting is when someone goes into a store and takes out as much merchandise as they can get away with, and fences are the people that... Nigga, they got different builds what the fuck they have different builds for shoplifting and stealing goods they got types they got prototypes they got they got <laughs> they got builds bro they got models say it again in the bay area 
These people are referred to bippers, boosters, and fences. Bippers, boopers, and fences. What, what, what type you gonna be? You gotta put it in the comments. You gotta put it in the comments. See, me personally, I might be a, uh, we gotta figure it out. Hold on. Someone goes into a store and takes out as much merchandise as they can get away with. And fences are the people that buy the stolen goods from the boosters and sell it into the black market. Right, so who's the bippers? They steal cars? So I might be a, uh, I might be a, um, I might be a booster. I might be a booster. Yep. They are organized gangs of criminals who sell the merchandise to a fencing operation. The result of this is in cost. Mm -hmm. Retailers are pulling out left and right. In Union Square, once a high profile destination, 17 retailers have pulled out since 2020. This oh is my goodness. Nordstrom, Office Depot, and Old Oh, these are big places too. Has closed at least 19 locations in the San Francisco area. The Dang. This is that thousands of people no longer have a place to work. To take, take a closer, closer look at this issue of theft, we dive into the... Oh, damn. Hold on. I didn't even think of that. Because you're not just... Businesses... Bro, this has... Like, businesses are fine. Businesses are fine. They chilling. They chilling right now. The people that really need this are the people, you know, that work nine to fives that are, like, they're trying to make ways. They're trying to make ends meet. Or, and sometimes it's not even just making ends meet. It's just normal people, like... Just trying to make some money or teenagers trying to make money like you just ruining it for everybody you're ruining it you're ruining it black markets and we talk to bippers boosters fences and guys that pull pipes folks an announcement you should know about a live event tommy tommy we know about the charity event bro you you're you're a dove bro you know what i realized bro tommy g he travels a lot like a lot a lot a lot like does he ever like get time to just go home because the way he be like the amount of times he be posting videos bro like i literally just reacted to one of his videos the other day what was that actually no was that yet no sunday like bro no saturday i'm tripping <laughs> One thing you're going to notice is a lot of boarded up places, a lot of businesses are deciding it's not worth it being in San Francisco anymore. A lot of retail places are closing up because of all the thievery. San Francisco's uh -huh. bustling downtown streets still struggling to bounce back as retailers continue to flee. A lot of retailers have been pulling out of the city. In the past few weeks, Westfield announced it's giving up its prominent downtown mall location while AT&T revealed it is closing its flagship store. This is a place you don't want to leave valuables in your car. That's how you know it's bad. I've never seen a please lock your vehicle sign. Ever. Like, ever. I know there's probably been some around, and I probably just haven't paid attention, but I'm just saying, like, I've never seen a, a please lock your vehicle. They have signs telling people to please lock your... Damn! Do not leave valuables in the car. It's that bad. We're looking into bipping and boosting. Oh my god. Is it crazy here? It's pretty crazy. You have know, you like, ever had your car window okay. smashed? Okay. Me personally, no. Do you know people that have their car window smashed? Most definitely. What do you think about that? Wait, it's where are they at? I, guess. I mean, as long as you know what you're doing. I know they're in San Fran, but I'm saying, like, where are they? Where, where, what's this area they're at? Like, what is that? Where, what's that place they're at? The right people. should be good. Someone bashed out your car window, steals your phone charger, your phone, all your stuff. What should what happen to that person? If I can find him, man, it's over with for him. Nothing with the police. <laughs> Damn. All right, Miles. You said that's not Miles Morales. Well, they need they need some superhero. I'm trying to get somebody. Like, <laughs> they don't got Batman. They don't got Miles. Like, where Peter at? You said it's Tommy G. Tommy G's Peter Parker. You right. So this place is crawling with police. I don't know how anyone's going to get this job done. I would be deterred by this much police. I would be deterred. This is ballsy. I would expect well, it to be a lot easier. Another thing, it Tommy G. Like, like, you got stuff to live for. Like, you got you got stuff that you that's worth a lot. You know, you you <laughs> you have things <laughs> that have a lot of value. You have you have a lot to lose. You have your YouTube channel, you got your family, and and then all the other stuff you probably own. And just have access to in relationships and connections. It's not worth like uh, no shit. Somebody who ain't got none of that. I mean, wait, are you, which which? I've never done any 
I will hope not. Is that normal? Absolutely. It seems like it's a high pressure situation. It doesn't seem as easy as I was picturing, which is just walk in, take it, and leave. Honestly. I want to say like if a nigga walks in with a bike if a nigga walks in with a bike into a store if he rides a bike into the damn store that nigga should get tackled immediately just because out of respect like you know some people are called gorilla boosters and they don't care you know they'll they'll beep on the way out is it cuz they're black my fault they're gone if i'm walking out with a armful of patagonia Jackets. Uh -huh. Can someone stop? They can, they can stop, stop you. you. You know, it depends on the person. Some people have like security, like they have security. They might say something to you. They're not gonna chase you out the door. This is like a small army of police officers. <laughs> my nigga, that's a lot of niggas. That's so many officers, though. A lot of the boosters uh, oh, are not no really shit. prone to like be hitting it in the city like that. A lot of people be jumping bars. They hit the suburbs. Yeah, they hit. Emeryville, Dublin, Richmond, you know, all those different places out there, Oakland, and then they go and they do it like that. And then they I would have been like, if I was Tommy G, I would have been like, so how, how you know? How you know? You, <laughs> who's your, um, <laughs> how'd you know? You, you you sure do know a lot. You you got something to tell the people at home? <laughs> he shoot me. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> it's like, sir. Do you ever feel bad when you're boosting? Like, do you ever feel like, shit, this isn't the right thing to do? Oh, 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 okay. He did have some shit to tell people at home. That nigga really does do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why that nigga face was covered. So you're just walking with a thief right now. So, Tommy G, technically, you could go to the police right there and then be like, hey, yo, get that nigga right there. Now, I know you're not going to do that because you have no reason to. And on top of that, you're just trying to make your own money. <laughs> you know, you, this has nothing to do with you, but you do have that power. I'm not the booster. I'm the fence. I'm the one who buys it. You know, okay. and then I flip it. I wouldn't tell him shit, though. I wouldn't tell him if I was fencing, boosting, blip, bipping, none of that. And there is some type of economy that is working for them. The city would be scared to shut down boosting completely for all different people because then they would be worried about civilians getting attacked, you know, robbed, the cars getting dipped, those things like that. That's why they have the market open like that. So basically, if people can steal from, like, Dick's Sporting Goods, it's a lot less dangerous than stealing from individuals. Is that the idea? Yes, they're getting that insurance for those lost, uh, lost products. Dick's Sporting Goods closes. When Walmart True. Closed, saw this in Chicago, there was just too much theft. And now people that depend on that place for their groceries, they're out of luck. What do you think? about that. That's extremely unfortunate. I think there's other things going on. I don't think that solely that is just closing down just because of no, I th I think that could play. A, I wouldn't say solely, but I feel like that could play a really big part when you're just getting your merchandise stolen and you're not making any money. Yes, that can that can really affect it. I uh, trust trust <laughs> and frequently too. Not just like oh once or twice. No, back to back. Just just getting getting cooked. Like I, I think that would, I think that would, it would affect it a lot. This nigga look like a Watch Dogs Two character, bro. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Get this nigga out the street, bro. But, well, I guess you can. Yes. What does that mean to you? Breaking a car window and grabbing stuff out of the car. It is a problem in the city, in particular areas. You just don't uh, don't park your car and expect it to be safe. Have you ever been bit before? Yeah. What ran through your head after that? Why do I have to deal with this? I live in one of the richest cities in the world. What should happen? I don't, I don't feel like that makes a, mm, it, mm, like, I know more money means more security, more safety, because you have more funding for things and more job offerings, but, like, bro, that doesn't, I don't think that guarantees safety 100%, though, like. 
swift and short punishment. The reason it's a problem is there are no consequences. Do you feel like the people in charge of San Francisco are doing a good job? I would say no. The, the people in charge of San Francisco are captured by ideology rather than what's actually practically beneficial for the residents. We head to an underground parking garage to talk to a lady that is a full-time booster to learn more about her and her operation. Here's what we found out. She got them. I'm have to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could be just going on lunch break from your office job and on a walk with your dog. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about your stuff. Man, you know, I do love the color blue. You know, she got that jacket on nice. That's a nice jacket. That's a nice jacket right there. She got, yes, yes. She got a nice jacket on, man. Life has just been rough for us. I've had two jobs and they just didn't go very well. Um, and when you say us, you're talking about you and the dog? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. Okay. She's my little mascot. She comes everywhere with me. A mascot? She boosts with you. So you're putting your dog on the, on the line of fire, possibly? Like, getting... <laughs> You like you're just putting your dog in danger for no reason. Yeah, she's, is, is she almost part of the cover a little bit? She's my sidekick. Yeah, no, she's like the very important thing. She has to run and play before I can take her in. Otherwise, she'll start whining and getting a little antsy. So usually, by the time I go in there, she's passed out, and I just do is you know I take my time. She'll be sleeping, and I take her in the fitting room, and then that's where I do my thing. When I go in the fitting room, I take everything out. And I fold it as flat as I can, and I'll lay her bed on top of it. The only thing that sometimes is a little scary is like she'll be sitting from. She got them, good lord, bro. Hold on, I'm listening. Trust me, I'm listening. But golly, the cameraman doing Lord's work right now. Not not the Lord's. He doing good work though. Fold it as flat as I can, and I'll lay her bed on top of it. The only thing that sometimes is a little scary though is like. Why everybody looking like Watchdog uh, Legion characters though? I'm here and all of a sudden she's a little, sitting a little high, but I don't think they'll notice. They, because there's so much so stuff stuck in there that she's off a little bit. Yeah. So what do you look for when you're boosting? Like, are, um, is it a certain dollar amount or is it a certain type of product? If you were to get something that's fifty bucks, you'd probably sell it for five, ten dollars. What's the biggest haul you've ever had? About. Um, oh, <laughs> what you want to say? Maybe and what was that? What were the items? Cashmere, they run about two, three hundred dollars. Michael Kors, five, six, seven hundred dollars. Purses and stuff like that. What leads you to do this? How the fuck you get a purse in that small ass? How? How'd she do that? This is a high pressure, high stress kind of job. Yeah, honestly, to survive, to be able to eat, to feed my dog. If you want to eat, you got to do what you got to do, really. Hey, see, and when when i hear stories like this bro i'm not even gonna lie to you sometimes like i don't even blame them like sometimes you have people out here trying to act all street and hood for no reason like you do not have to do this you do not have to be in this life like bro they'll sit here and they'll act, oh yeah i'll be doing this i'll be gang banging blah 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 and they don't be doing that and it's like you don't have to be that way and in my opinion it's very disrespectful because there's people out there who are genuinely that way not because they want to but because they have to be so there's a big difference there's a big difference one's doing it because they think it's cool the other one's doing it because they're trying to live that's two different things so the one that's trying to live will put you in the ground if they have to because they're trying to survive this has nothing to do with <laughs> like trying to look cool or have a certain status they're trying to survive that's two different things there's a domino effect to this right like i know there are a lot of retail stores have shut in san francisco mm -hmm. and there's people there that depend on that full-time money to, for their family if someone lost their job because the place had to close down because of boosting how do you feel about it it definitely sucks i'd have to go outside the city that takes a little bit longer <laughs> Hey, hey, she didn't say that sucks for nobody else. She said, uh, I mean, that sucks because I got to take a longer distance, longer distance now. I got to travel farther. She didn't say, oh, yeah, you know, the families that also need to eat, too. But I mean, but in this situation, it's like everyone's selfish.
because you're stealing because of your own needs and everything you're trying to survive then the people that work there they they work in there for themselves to you know everybody's it's a it, every everything plays a role and then you got the people who shop there and stuff they just trying to take care of their own so it's like everybody trying to take care of themselves and then in the end nobody gets anything so then it's like that's tough What you what shawty what you mean you don't pay attention so you telling me if you just pick up something and it puts you over like 950 you're done so first of all you said you stole about a couple thousand last w was your biggest joint so you're just that good what tommy <laughs> bro tommy please please bro please be safe like tommy bro he put himself himself in the most dangerous situations ever sometimes niggas selling the veil lotion on the side i don't want no i don't want no uh shea butter uh jamaican castor oil while it's 75 degrees outside in the sun beaming to a fencing operation so we're about three four blocks away from 16th and mission which is one of the primary black market areas in san francisco we're gonna hit the streets and show you what we see good to meet you how you doing you, man all good i'm gonna show you all a little inside of how shit is out here it's really hot right now though it usually be on like 16th mission they all then migrated up here as you can see the police just took everybody off so migrated up here let's go check it out this is where it all be before the cops just came and migrated everyone out of here you see how they all look a lot of the fellas there was police officers right behind them they're standing right there so is this is what you call the black market i think tommy was just trolling but like bro a lot of the fellas that speak spanish are the guys that run this shit around here yeah 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 they don't even speak english everybody who come out here who didn't sold something got something they come like right here this country Whatever you need. So if I want to get a Patagonia jacket, Nike, this is the spot to come. Spot. See, everything was just all laid out, set up on the floor. So the cops just came like five minutes away. You said you'll get by tomorrow? Whatever you need. Straight up. So how easy is it to find stuff around here? Like if I'm looking to go Christmas shopping for the whole family, is this the spot to look? All you gotta do is come in, like come in the day before, help you need, get an order for you, bring it to you. An uh, order? What? Bro, they're talking like this is just regular business. Sometimes you get lucky. <laughs> and you'll come here and there'll be like things that you would normally put in stockings or, or give like a small gift. Maybe even sometimes there'll be a big gift. Tell me the difference between retail price and what I can get out here. They pay 30%. Okay, so let's say a purse was like 300 at a store. At most, $70 for it. Wow. It's, it's a competitive market because uh, they buy it, put it in their storage unit, and then go to the flea market and sell it for more. You know? So it's easier for us to put it online, but a lot of people use drugs, and it's easier to do it that way. There's a few steps in the chain, right? There's the booster, the fencer. My nigga, they're still, they're stealing shit worth hundreds to thousands of dollars and then only selling it for like hundreds or below like is there another part of the chain too or is that pretty much it would you say it's a risky business or is it in san francisco is it easy it's definitely risky because you're uh you're definitely building a bad background you know what i'm saying boosting and stuff like that i'm trying to get a cheap bag it's nice for me but like the guy that works at dick's board and you know i've thought about this and i know everybody says this is very cliche but like if you put this much effort that you put into doing all of this i think you would be even more successful even more successful than some of the people who work jobs that you don't even think you could get like because you obviously have the work that work ethic like you <laughs> you doing all this i mean it's there you just gotta find the thing that you like doing you you got it you i know it's not that easy it's easy to just say that but like 
Bro. You heard that tax for all these people selling out here too. If you don't pay them that money for that tax that they're asking for, then they jump you and take your stuff. Damn. When you look at the black market and the drug trade, we are talking multi-million dollar revenue streams. And these are not ran by petty criminals. These are ran by sophisticated criminal organizations. The two main ones that the locals told us about were the Mexicans and the Hondurans. And in fact, business has been so good for the Hondurans that there's been a big immigration push to San Francisco to live there. And if you visit Honduras, you're liable to find little kids running around in San Francisco 49er jerseys and Steph Curry jerseys too. What percentage of the people doing the boosting would you say? What did <laughs> Tommy G trying to make people mad about the Super Bowl? <laughs> What are these going for? Three bucks. I mean, yeah, this would be a great place to go Christmas shopping. Watch that camera because, like I said, a lot of gangs are in this area, and if they see you with a camera out here, they may not be. Yeah, they will. Yeah, see, that's why I said, Tommy G, you gotta be careful. You need to start walking around with some security, my nigga. Like for real, like, like, like. I know it. <laughs> I know he don't want to come off that way, but seriously, bro. Like, I mean, he might. I don't know, but. From the video wise, bro, he need to like walk like you need to have some some niggas with you, bro. Like <laughs> some security, some bro, cause he be going into the most dangerous areas. Like, I, does he have a weapon? I know Tommy G gotta have a gun. You gotta at least have a gun. You're not dumb, like. Tommy G not dumb, bro. That's one of the signs right there. Is the. This is the corner we had to pee in two minutes ago. It's easy to notice some of the why do you, why did you tell me that? Like retail stores leaving. But some of the minor things I noticed is it's damn near impossible to find a bathroom to pee in in San Francisco. Business owners just don't want to deal with homeless people going in their bathrooms and doing God knows what. And the result of this is I almost pissed my pants a few times in San Francisco. If there is a place in San Francisco with a public bathroom, it's behind a key pack because that's how much sketchy shit goes on in the bathroom. So it's a hard place to take care of your business. Because the McDonald's did not have a spot to go. might walk in, whole alley might be full with nothing but dope I'm from corner to bottom, whole alley. Crazy dangerous. Human shit? Human shit, for surely. Not dog shit. Send your kids to school and they're walking through. I mean, Niggas just pissing and shitting, robbing. They need a superhero in San Francisco, like that ass. Yeah, you gotta walk past everyone. And it's crazy, crazy because, like, school programs, they bring their kids all through it. Like, they have to, like, you know. Imagine that nigga turn around. He's like, yo, who the fuck are you? I'd be like. <laughs> school and they're walking through. I mean, yeah. You know. Gotta walk past everyone. And it's crazy, crazy because, like, like school, school programs, programs, they bring their kids all through it. Like, they have to, like, you know. There's some people who will come by and tell them, kids, come and put it up, put it by. They, we don't give a f da da da. Kids come by, they still smoking. Maybe it's possible to get contact high. Like, you never know, you know? It's just it's sad. That's sad. It's sad. It kind of makes sense that the theft capital of America would also be a hotspot for drugs because I think it's yeah. really interconnected. There's all kind of thieves. There's the thieves who's trying to get high to support their habit. There's the thieves who's actually getting money and doing something with it. Then there's just the thieves who's stealing for their own use, personal use. Like, like people are walking a whole grocery store and walk right. I know because I'd be stealing. Like, hey, y'all stealing, I'm stealing. A bunch of shit. Well, at least be smart and cover up half your face if you're going to say that again, right? I'm just saying, like, like if you're going to say, all right, y'all stealing, I'm stealing too. At least just cover up your face so you don't get locked up. One of them even took the time to explain why he simply didn't pay. Police might just take the items back and tell you to get the f out of here. Even if you steal more than a thousand dollars. It almost makes it like like a game. Like, okay, I'm gonna go in there, I'm getting nine hundred and fifty dollars worth of shit and I'm Literally, out. like people count it and add up. I know personally, so can you go home and feel good about it? Like I did my job and it's kinda like ah I got my money but I feel a little like not so good about it. Truth be so I got my money, I don't feel too good about it. The other me is I'm happy, you know, I got my money, I don't give a fuck what I did to get my money, I got it. Okay. $15. So this is some, some boosted perfume. So what did this go for? He won't 15 in the store, you know, that's a hundred and up for sure. Let me just... 
god damn what yo this is why they don't got stores he's saying 15 dollars this perfume about a hundred dollars in the store who's not buying that bro if i'm walking down the sidewalk somebody offer me something that's worth way more than i than like they're offering it to me i'm buying it who's not buying it though who's not buying it who you you're not gonna buy it you're not gonna buy it you're not gonna buy it you don't gotta go through no it's no taxes no nothing you just paying cash We just walked past the guy that had some boosted cologne. I just uh, got fresh for free now. It'd be like that. It'd be like that. Across the street, this is no inside shit. Yeah. This is like when the dippers. Fuck it. This is when niggas go hit when they bit. You get a motherfucking uh, passport. Uh, I'm saying anything, some papers with them. Police left and already it's just crawling like way more people. Oh shit. Nigga selling soda. My nigga, nobody wants Coca Cola. It's not that much. But if you do got some on the side and I'm hot, I'ma buy it. I'ma just I'ma just be My nigga, I don't want dove men dove soap on the side. My nigga, I'm not buying no medical shit. That shouldn't even be they should be I'm not gonna lie, that's kinda dumb. I well I'm only saying that because I know me personally. I, 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 I make, uh, like, I'm not buying that. So, <laughs> but whoever do, okay. My nigga, it's February. Why did he say, oh, Christmas? Yes, my friend. I don't like. <laughs> You're buying Christmas shit in February, not Valentine's. How much are those? That ass, how much are those? Does this nigga, does the nigga even have the same shoes? Can I get left and right? Are you just selling one, one shoe? Wrong foot, meeting up with our next guy that's gonna take us in a little bit deeper. Who that nigga? Oh, <laughs> some random civilian, bro. I swear to God, you really look like a cop right now. I'm not here lying. I swear to God, when I seen y'all across the street looking, I was like, that's a narc. I'm like, oh no, gosh. Tommy G, I can't forget Tommy G. How can you tell who's a booster and who's not? They're gonna have a big bag. The real boosters, this is the insider. They're gonna have temp for you in they bag. So when you walk out, and if it do got a beeper on it, it don't sense with the temp for it. Who will run out of God damn. Niggas be knowing shit too. Like. Safeway with fucking a garbage bag full of Thai pods. Might go get 500 out of one Safeway. So now they finna go do another Safeway. Another garbage bag, 500. You just made a thousand dollars in less than an hour. Their store security can't do shit, right? touch you. They can't say nothing. And, and bro, look, even if they could, right? Even if they could, they're not going to. Because I don't get paid enough to possibly lose my life over someone stealing $500 worth of shit. That's where it plays. And then you have security. And even if they do do something, they can they can only do but so much. And then the police, they're not doing. So it's like the higher you go, just more shit's not being done. So why the fuck would I risk my life as a fucking employee when this shit happens every day? That's one of my pet peeves. That's one of my pet peeves. We gotta. We got a clean earth, guys. We got a nice earth. You about to have Tommy G wrestle your ass. He about to put your ass in a full Nelson DDT. Him? Every bag he got full. All those floors up there, that's dark. That used to be Nordstrom. When people are saying boosting doesn't have a price, well, this is one of the prices that it's just simply too expensive to do business. The sad reality is there's lots of full time employees, yeah, to work. I swear, bro, us black people, we do the same shit. We do. Oh, we do. 
Like, nigga, do something else. Or, or they just throw a random sign up. Don't have a place to work no more. Real gays from everywhere. Like, they might run into your worst enemy in this motherfucker. My worst enemy? We call that a stoley. He ain't buy that, nigga. When you think that, he ain't buy that. He ain't buy that. I should high school. The little niggas who just walked by, they probably got 20, 30, 40,000 somewhere. God damn. I'm not going to lie, bro. 30 to 40 bands in high school is the equivalent of having like 120,000 in college. You would. Like, bro. It, you probably going to feel like the man. <laughs> Thirty to forty thousand dollars would be like the equivalent of having like a hundred and twenty on campus in college. For a college student to have six figures, my nigga, you're chilling. Chilling. High school, like if you in San Francisco with no money and no motion, it's sad. You can't just walk in and open it. Cause if you did, it'd be 10 niggas running in, taking everything in front of the straight out the door right there. You notice a lot of these stores invest in security guards, but it doesn't seem to be stopping the stealing. Here are a couple of reasons why. One, it's arguably cheaper to let them steal a few things than it is to pay for more muscle to guard it. The other thing to factor in is the liability for the store. If they do stop somebody and there's an altercation, a fight, someone gets shot, it's just not worth it. And exactly, exactly. That's what I was saying earlier. So it, it's just like... It gets to a point where it's, it's not worth all that effort to possibly stop only like two to three people and the rest of the people got away and somebody could have possibly died. It's not it's not worth it. Employee standpoint, if CVS is paying you $14 an hour and the guy that's stealing from you might have a gun, is it really worth it? Right. That's what I was saying. If I'm a regular fucking employee, I'm not going to risk my life over somebody who could have a fucking shotgun. And, and blow my whole head off like like I'm not doing that in GTA. It was in GTA. Big Smacks takes us to the tenderloin and wants to introduce us to his Mexican pals, the Migos, who run his shit. Oh, you said the Migos. Hey, um. How you doing? This shit's so watered down, bro. Nah, bro. I don't think. GJ and Peng, I wish you got. Wait, why he say Hondo suit like the Migos? Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Are you a secret member? What? I was coming from China. I thought it might be good for you to see. Come on, you go to like a hundred dope fiends, bro. Stolen shit, bro. Just selling it. Trying to get it off to the Migos. And the Migos is Hey, bro. Somebody come get Boosie, bro. Not even Boosie. Uh, no, that's Boosie. Somebody come get Boosie, bro. This look like a, a mix between Boosie and Soldier Boy. <laughs> Space, Holy shit, that nigga's fried, bro. Oh, you see that nigga's face? He's like this. Uh, like that nigga's gone. Family, just chilling. Just space, chilling. Mystery, doing some science. Doing some science? Yeah. Look at this nigga's face. Mystery, doing some science. <laughs> doing some science? Yeah. My boy out here pushing a stroller with nothing in it. He probably It's not funny, <laughs> but it's like <laughs> that nigga pushing a stroller with nothing to do. <laughs> he said that nigga pushing a stroller with nothing in it. That nigga ain't got no baby. He don't got Why nothing in that bitch. You feel me smoking that shit on some shit fat now? Most likely. Right that's that's sad. No, but seriously, on a on a serious note, that is sad. But like, bro, he said he pushing a stroller with nothing in it. All right, Boosie, you know a lot of shit, don't you? I got a better one. Boosie and NBA Young Boy. Tell me, tell me I'm wrong. Nah, nah, I was better with the Soldier Boy. The Soldier Boy, I see it. It's a, it's the Soldier Boy, Soldier Boy, and Boosie. I'm calling bougie. <laughs> and that foil is a 
supplied by the nonprofit. Exactly. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's that's crazy. crazy. You think that's a bad move for taxpayer money to be? That's why I would never get a job. Ever. <laughs> I, I, I look at this young lady. She probably around our age. We're about to meet some other pilots who really run the market. The Mexican. Oh shit. Oh nah. They got everybody's face blurred. I ain't never watched a Tiny D video where everybody play face blurred. Where everybody face is blurred, like Oh they really bout it. No, no, no. Hey, K Pasami Ombre Sutami G yeah see see i see but this would save tommy g though because tommy g got res he got respect from a lot of people and he has credibility so everybody that like knows tommy g they know he not go, he not on no weird like he cool this is just for the video we not trying to do nothing else we not trying to stir up nothing not trying to start nothing but like bro please have security because in that last video you had that one dude that was spazzing even though <laughs> you but but he had people with him though so the people he interviewed they, they gonna they're gonna make sure he's straight they're not gonna just Coming to sell that shit to them. Have you ever felt bad after bipping somebody? I ain't gonna lie, nope. What if it's a single mom and she can't afford to fix her windows? I wouldn't know if it's a single mom or not. As long as I don't see it, I would not not feel. You feel me? I, I can't I can't feel no type of way. If I just see the car with her person there, I'm taking it. You just try not to think about who it might be. Exactly. I mean, I can't really. You can't really say nothing about that. <laughs> oh shit that nigga's fighting in pajama pants he's not winning shit In this last segment, we she need to let that makeup go. Thief who has done an assortment of wild crimes, from heists to getting ATMs to robbing other criminal organizations. Is that him on the fucking camera? About the mentality of pulling a heist. Nah, time G, you can't get me with that one take. That's the video I was talking about where the dude was spazzing. Is there a code name that? Like, but I know the Patreon part of W. So I'm here with Jerry. All right, okay. so he fully covered voice change. We run into warehouses. It don't matter anywhere that I got some money. We take safes, ATMs. Safes? What the fuck? This nigga really in GTA. They really plan watchdogs. Like, you take an ATM? Yep. You literally drive up to a bank and take the ATM? Not from the bank. You go to gas stations and stuff. Or like apartment lot. Auto, ATM, you hook a chain onto it and just... Drag it out. What's the most you ever got? That's really on some Fast and Furious GTA shit. I'm being serious. Tell me about the warehouse heist. You go to a warehouse, take valuable things. Take a lot of valuable things. Take marijuana, anything that brings you money. So California has a lot of grow houses. Even though it's legal weed, you can steal it all and sell it on the black market? Or you sell, how does that work? I got buyers for them. Everywhere, out of state, 500 piece, 1,000 piece, they're all getting sold the next day. I hit a watch out here in the bay, Richard Milley, sold it right away for 80,000, broad daylight. I'm sure that man worked hard for his Richard Milley. Is there any way you feel about taking that from him? No, I don't feel bad for nobody. How do you feel at the end of the day after pulling one of your jobs? I feel great, I feel the blood pumping, I feel the money in my pocket, I come back to- <laughs> See, these be the, the, the vendor level threat niggas I be talking about, bruh. <laughs> see you see how everybody else was kind of just more than like like they was like nah i don't really feel bad but like at the same time i'm just trying to make money i'm I'm doing me he talking about i'm feeling the rush feeling that i see red it's it's a good feeling the the like he, he starts scratching his neck i'll be like get him out bro feel great I feel the blood pumping feel the money in my pocket come back to all my niggas pass out some money go get some money to my grandma and stuff make sure everybody good in the hood is what you do dangerous 
I was really dangerous. A lot of people got shot. Is there a story you have of a, a situation that went wrong or like a close call? We get into a lot of shit with the police. High speeds. They call me the high speed specialist. <laughs> Nigga got code names and shit. What the high speed specialist? <laughs> he got a title like it's Fortnite. Is there a certain speed limit that they stop chasing? It depends on city you're in. What city has the, the weakest police reputation? Oakland. Really? Oakland, San Francisco. Because the impression I get from a lot of people that do this kind of stuff is it's almost open season. Like there's very little consequences and it's kind of easy to get away from. For a biffin, there's, there's, there's very minimal consequences. Unless you, you get into a biffin, like you really hurt somebody on the bit mission. Do you know people that have gotten hurt bipping, like the person defended themselves or shot back or defended yeah. their car? Yep. One of my little niggas was on a bipping mission and the person he bit started shooting at him and it didn't go well, you know what I'm saying? Are you ever nervous before? So he died or like, is that nigga okay? I never got nervous in my life, really. Look at that cap. See, this is what I be talking about, bro. It's okay to be nervous. You're still a brave bro, like. It's nothing wrong with doing something that's scary, but if you're still doing it while scared, that makes you brave. That's what being brave is. Cause even though you're scared or you're fearing it, you're still doing it. It's something, bro. He told me I, 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 I never been nervous. Never been nervous. As soon as I came out the room, I was, I, I, I had everything on lock. And it didn't go well, you know what I'm saying? Are they be lying. Before you do this, I never get nervous. Never, never get nervous. nervous. Why would I get nervous? In my life, really. I mean, I lost a lot of people. I'm like cold blooded. I don't got no remorse for nobody. Would you consider yourself a soldier? So the people that died that you call friends and the people you cool with that died, you just don't care. So you're just a super villain. No, you just don't care. You don't care. You're just chilling. Perfectly fine. Nothing wrong. Nothing's bothering you. You don't feel a bit of remorse that they're gone. You know, that they no longer live. Like, what is he talking about, bro? Like, what? No, that's now that's weird because if you really f care for those people and you trying to give back to your hood, you would not sit here and be on some, well, I don't really care about them. You would be like, yeah, we lost it. Like you would, you would have remorse, bro. What is he talking about? I don't got no remorse for nobody. Would you consider yourself not even your grandma? So what if your grandma passed? Like, come on, bro. You gotta do what you gotta do to make a living out here. I mean, as long as there's money in it, I'm in it. What's the biggest play you've ever pulled? The biggest play I really ever pulled was, was a half a million dollars. That's a crazy amount of money. What kind of play is a $500,000 play? Marijuana play. Found some trash, found some marijuana. I'm the one that designs the whole thing. I had it all visualized where the camera is, where to get in from, where to leave from, how to get in. You know, oh, so you're the mastermind. What not to do. Wow. And what's going through your head as you're doing this? I'm thinking about how good the money will look in my pocket. A lot of people in California think law enforcement has no power anymore. Like, what do you think about that? I think it's true. Law enforcement don't really do shit. What's the longest a chase has ever lasted for you? 30, 40 minutes. Sounds like you enjoy your profession. Of course I enjoy it. So do you kind of look forward to the days that you're about to do it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy G can't, bro, Tommy can't believe this, bro. <laughs> he said, it looks like you, you look forward to doing this, all this stuff. I mean, I oh, why not? Like, come on. I mean, of course I'm going to go down and uh, bomb, you know. <laughs> of course I'm going to go steal cars. What are you talking about, Tommy? What's wrong with you? You don't want to do it too? It's like, no. Thank you, brother, and um, stay safe in those streets, okay? All right, folks, so you just got an inside look to the theft capital of America. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Bro, that was a W video. All right, yo, that's going to conclude it for today's video. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Stay tuned. Wait. Oh, you thought I was going to say peace. Check out this video.